Everyone loves stories. Tales of glory, myths, legends, dreams. They are what connect us across cultures and worlds. And even to other life. A species' existence is like a story, full of triumphs and failures, adapting as time pushes on. I'm going to tell you a story you may have heard before, but not like this, where legend meets reality. Munoceros albus, the unicorn. Once these beautiful animals roamed the woodlands. They captured man's imagination and quickly became beloved symbols of purity, healing, and love. But as the love for the unicorn grew, so did the desire to own a piece of the rarity. <laughs> They were the only mammals known to naturally use bioluminescence. Like fireflies, the unicorn used a molecule called luciferin to make its horn glow. This radiance led to the belief that the unicorn horn held magical properties. The horns were turned into goblets or smashed into powder with the belief that they could protect against ailments and poisons. <laughs> Despite the falsehood of these myths, the horn continued to be prized and became more valuable than gold. The larger unicorns were harvested first. The horn's value continued to climb, even as the horns themselves got smaller and smaller. The unicorn's extinction was inevitable. Scotland would lose its national animal. It would be as if the United States lost its symbol of freedom, the bald eagle. In fact, the bald eagle was almost lost in the States due to human influence. However, through conservation efforts, bald eagles rebounded and were taken off the threatened species list in 2007. If taking action saved the bald eagle, why couldn't it have worked for the unicorn? Despite the expense and risk, the obvious solution was to remove the horn from the unicorns themselves. However, this proved to be a fatal mistake because for the unicorn, the horn was its lifeline. In addition to vocal calls, each herd led by a matriarch had its own set of unique glowing patterns. A unicorn was shunned if it could not communicate with its herd. The matriarch's horn glowed the brightest, which reinforced her dominance. Males fought fiercely for the right to reproduce with her. The gene for luciferin was passed on from mother to offspring through mitochondrial DNA. This gene, and the strength of the father, ensured that the matriarch's offspring would be the strongest. Removing the horn meant death for the unicorn, though dehorning is mildly successful with other species. Unicorns had true horns made of keratin with a live bony center, just like on goats and cows. When the horn was cut off, it never grew back. Rhinos have a keratin horn too, but they lack the live bony center. Cutting off the rhino's horn discourages poachers from killing the animal. However, dehorning is only completely effective if paired with security, because the rhino's horn will grow back 
over time. Even a small piece of rhino horn, whether on the rhino or in the market, is still very valuable. The solution for one species is not always the solution for all. However, all species affected by poaching have one thing in common. They are victims of demand. Maybe it's not the poachers that need a change of heart, but the ones who crave the prize. A web that spans space and time connects every living thing. Extinction is a natural process, but when the rate of extinction is too high, the holes in the web connecting us cannot be filled. It becomes unstable and causes a ripple effect that touches everything that survives, even when we are too distracted to notice. Extinction also leads to lost opportunities. You remember luciferin, the molecule that unicorns and fireflies use to glow? In the early 2000s, it was discovered that luciferin is the key to bioluminescence imaging. This is used to non-invasively track cancer cells and has led to large advancements in medical research. The unicorn horn actually did have its own version of healing properties, but that opportunity has been lost forever. Every species has a story to tell, if we dare to listen. Through stewardship and long-term protection, we can begin to fill in the holes in the web. Just like a story does not end after the final word, extinction can still lead to new discoveries. The story of the unicorn lives on in our hunt for a solution to conservation. The answer may not be black and white, but it is within our grasp should we choose to reach for it.